What are you actually doing? What is your purpose? What is your purpose in life? Gosh, right guys, morning. I wasn't gonna film today, but um, this installation is shockingly bad. I thought I had to show it you guys. So I'm doing some testing here. Um, the client has spent hundreds of thousands of pounds. This flat, they've spent hundreds of thousands of pounds getting this flat up to a good standard. Look, you can see the finishes, lovely floors. And then so-called electrician builder man has come in and this is what I'm faced with. Okay. It's all mineral insulated cables in the back there onto a metal, old metal consumer unit. But they've brought no earth in forward into this board. So I don't actually know how that earth is carrying through to this new fuse board. There's a main earth. There's no gas, no water bonding. And I'll just show you a few other things that I've found. So it's mineral insulated cable. There's no earth in, in the actual mineral, then they've just jammed twinning earth in, um, no sleeving on anything whatsoever. The lady said to the builder, I don't want any cables on show, and she said there was trunking and stuff everywhere, so they dropped the ceiling down here. Um, so there's joint boxes above a ceiling that I can't get to because this is a first floor flat, so that's a solid ceiling above here. Um, the list just goes on, they've got a brand new... Um, Brand new kitchen fitted, 50, 60 thousand pound. There's no isolation switch for the oven. There's there's a dishwasher there, I, I can't see how it's fed. They've had a new boiler fitted, they've had new sockets fitted, but it's all old wiring. I mean, I'm just getting into this, but I will show you later on. I can't find the main stop cock. There's no bond to it. There's no bond to the gas. They've. They've done some sort of joint box in here, then ran some metal uh, plastic conduit to extend these sockets. So I'm yet to get into those. But yeah, as I go around, I just find nightmare after nightmare. Um, again, in here, they've done all this. Um, so the builder actually cut a cable, and that was nice of him. So he then had to put mini trunking on the ceiling. And then if you see, how straight that mini trunk can actually is. Look, not at all. Just goes on an angle like that. So he had to refeed this light off of this corridor light. So she didn't want any trunk in anywhere. Um, what the hell this is doing? Is this just a token billy ball? Like earth, like what? What are you doing there like that? dives out that wall and just goes into a random bin store, don't know where it goes. They've tagged off the fan here, off of what, I don't know yet. Um, yeah, there's the fan, nothing has been certified. So they've got me into doing the ICR and it is just completely shocking. Um, one good thing I've got to do is just move this cable, look, the builder left that. Finished job, he left that, I've got to just reroute it in that cupboard, fix the phone back there, basically just get rid of that cable. It's just um, a total nightmare and I'm going to tell her that this just needs rewiring, she's not going to be happy because this is finished, look, everything's finished and I'm now going to tell her that she needs a full rewire because the cables are 30 plus years old, why the hell did she not just spend three or four thousand pounds, it's only a one bedroom flat, you know, to do the electrical. They drop the ceilings anyway, so you could rewire the light in fairly easy. Uh, I'm just, anyway. So a lot of people say, can you show some sort of testing? So when I get into the actual testing side um, of this job, I will, I will show you some methods that I'm using, but I'm not convinced that I'm actually gonna be able to do much testing here because they've just crimped um, twin and earth forward onto the old mineral insulated cables in the back of there so I'm not actually sure that I'm going to be able to get any readings whatsoever on this uh, job but I'll try my best but um, yeah why do people do stuff like this I mean they've had someone come in to do work and clearly they don't know what they're doing and 
the client is now suffering because of it. Um, why don't they just get the right person in at the start of the job and the builder should tell them, look, you need to have this rewired. Why are they not saying that to them? So the reason this job arose, the lady got in contact with me and she said, what I want is some LED lighting under the cupboards here. Um, and I just came in here and was like, wow, you've spent so much money. Um, you know, it was expensive. And she just sort of went through things. I said, who was the electrician that, she said, I'm not sure there was one. It was sort of electrical lead builder. I said, oh, that's fair enough. I said, do you know where they've put the isolation switch for the oven? And she goes, you know, I don't know. And then I sort of had a little poke around at stuff and I was looking at stuff and you just, you just find stuff like, like that and I mean where does that go that's a built-in fridge anyway I'm going off on on the tandem because I'm just getting so frustrated with this job um so yeah I come to do one small thing um she want an LED light under there and I said yeah we could I could come off of here I just want to check your board yes yeah, RCD protected great blah -de blah and then when you actually look at everything it's complete crap um and I'm so glad I didn't come here and do work because I would have just found a complete can of worms so i said to her look you you need the full test on the installation before i'm going to come and touch it so i'm glad i've done that because at least my day's covered to come here test it and tell her i'm not coming back here so um yeah i won't be doing your lights unfortunately but you know i'll give her the report and everything i find i will give her i'll give her a cost for remedials but she is not going to be happy and i believe she should get some money back off the builder because um, he should be advising her I'm sorry he's a builder he's a professional he should be advising her and he should have an electrician on his team that knows this sort of stuff superb yep superb superb Fantastic, that pipe's red hot. Fantastic, mate. You are so good at your job. You are so good at your job. So good at your job. Why? 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 What the hell is that? Hey? Complete enough joke of a job, this is. Why? That's nice. Where does it go? Nobody knows. What does it do? Nobody knows. I actually cannot believe. I just thought I'd take this switch off, just do a little, just check in the face plates and then. What the how? Is this bloke actually serious? What the hell is that? What are you doing? I'm not even going to touch that. It's like connectors in the wall. I'm, I'm gonna, I am actually going to stop ranting on this job, but I'm just getting so peed off with this job, honestly. Everything I take off is bad. It's complete rewire, I'm sorry. Right, pretty much visual sort of inspection of taking accessories off sockets is now done and it's pretty much failed. Um, so I just thought I'd got I'd get my um, tester out just to try some ZS's at some sockets and stuff, just to, you know, just to see what there is. If they plug something in, what, what have they got? So let's have a look. So generally at a socket, you know, 240 volts, 50 hertz. So I plug this little baby in. And then my tester does the uh, does the goodness. 169 volts, 50 hertz test. Okay. There you go. Now you look that up in your book, but to me that's saying I'm either got no neutral and no earth. So just out of interest. Let me grab the old trusty socket tester and just see what this says. Okay. 
Okay, that isn't a good sound. We have got live neutral, what have we got? Missing earth. So we've got no earth. We've got actually no protective earth on this socket whatsoever. No protective earth on this socket whatsoever. That's uh, beeping away. Still not very convinced though. My little book, just to confirm it. So we had P, we've got an N, P, E, H, V. Caution, presence of high voltage between neutral earth during ATT measurement. ATT function should be disabled to continue measurements. I wonder what an acceptable um, ZS is at a socket. 13.32. Should we go and have a look at the book? Right, so just come into my on-site guide. So we're on a 60898. A B, 32.1.1. I think that's failed as well, don't you? This is, this is no word of a lie. This has got to be one of the worst in stores. Um, that I've come across so that has been bodged as well and it, it's really starting to annoy me um, so he couldn't get his cable uh, he couldn't be bothered to get his cable in the old hole there's no knockout so he's bent he's gaunched the metal socket out um, and done that and, and someone's been here because you've got brand new colours and it's a brand new socket so the builder's done this or whoever has done this where does that cable go? Does it go in the ground? Does he put it under this floor? This job is just complete and utter nightmare. I'm now gonna actually take off every single socket now. Now I've found that, everything's coming off. Again, I've removed another socket um, to find that it's been back entered. I did say that there is like a weird external conduit on the back, apparently the builder cut the cable. So he's just left, um, it's just left ends in there. I'm not sure if that's actually live. I've not checked yet. But again, he's gone back entry. Um, and just, it's no grommet or anything. And the cable actually is rubbing. The, the actual live cable is rubbing on that box. So, and there's probably no earth at this socket either. Um. Back into that one then. And that's, I thought that was off. So I've just started my visual checks on the lighting. Um, they've had some brand new DAR lighting, which is quite expensive, good quality lighting. Um, so it's a metal fitting, um, no, no earth, cut out. He thought, I'm not gonna use that, I'll put connectors on it. He's chopped the earth out, so potentially, um, if this becomes live, you'll get electric shock. Right, so I've refixed the light back up. Um, as you can see, they've got another one of those and another one of those. And is it even worth me taking those down? Because I know exactly what I'm going to find. It's exactly the same thing. Overboarded. Well, that one is concrete, so that might have the original connections. That one, I am actually going to check. This one has definitely been overboarded, and. Inaccessible joint box with no earth. Inaccessible joint box with no earth. Surely there should be some sort of isolation in here for these tails. Surely. Scary, isn't it? So we've got a dual dual RCD fuse board and bathroom. Imperative that anything in here is protected by an RCD. And then you come to a metal light fitting and that's what you get. <sighs> Why? See what he's done? He's put the, um, they're not M4, um, what are they called? Um, anyway, he's put that screw into that old box. So I'm actually gonna do an earth loop here, just out of interest just to see what it comes back as, but yeah, again, what a load of old crap. So I've just done an earth loop at this light, 
And as you can see, we've got 7.08 on the ZS there. And if we go to our table again, 60898, type B, 6 amp, 5.87. Just another little query about this light. As you can see, it is clearly in the shower cubicle. That ceiling height from the shower cubicle, shower cubicle if you're stood in there, is 2.1. So if we go to our little special locations, shower cubicles in a room used. Zone 1, 2.25. So we're clearly within zone 1 of that uh, shower cubicle there. And if you are in zone one, you need to be IPX4 um, protection. And if I go to the fitting, we've got an IP rating of 44 there. I'll add it to the list. So I've just started to do my dead testing at the fuse board. Um, I've just looked, what they've done is they've made it look like a ring main. They've just bought the two browns out of the same connector, brought them into the fuse board. So I'm trying to do like an end to end um, continuity on those ends and I'm getting zero ohms because they're literally going back to a connector and, and I just can't test so limitation eh? Sockets in here, these are the ones I've got a hundred and odd volts at. If I screw, I've got a theory, if I screw this one back here where he's spurred off of, well I've now screwed that socket back, just out of interest, let's see now if because I've now screwed that uh, back, if we get a reading at this socket now there you go 247 volts because he connected the earth onto the socket and when that socket's off the wall there's no earth on the back box and it's reliant on the uh, mineral insulated for the earth so unless that socket screwed on these two sockets have got 130 volts but that's rectified now but it's still uh, not very good um, I'm just back at this uh, fuse board that circuit is marked up as water heater. I can't find where that goes, so I've left it off. Um, they brought the cables forward, but I can't find where that goes. The lug on the fuse board is actually broke off. That's why that won't um, screw shut. Just got cables flapping about. That, that does a new cooker circuit, which is actually, I think that's four mil. That isn't six mil, I think that's four mil. On a 32 I think um, it might be six mil I'm kind of losing the plot now on this one to be honest with you so as a token gesture I've put um, I've put some tape on that so at least that cover isn't going to be uh, hanging off now well, I'm moving on to something that's actually productive today I'm going to move this little door entry system for them so just a little tip take a picture of this with your phone and then what you want to do is, is individually snip each core. And what that will do is, that will leave a little coloured tab back for you so you know where to connect it in when you um, reroute the cable. Um, you'll know exactly where to connect it in. Right, that is it guys on this one. Sorry it was a little bit all over the place, but I just wanted to document this, how bad this little flat is. As you can see, I've now moved the cable. It's not across this doorway anymore, it goes in and then just clip down and around that way, to there anyway, so it goes up there, like that. Um, yeah, um, I'll put a load of pictures at the end of the video so you can just see what I found and some of the stuff that we have to, uh, we have to come across as electricians, so um, see you on the next one.